Hi there again, boys and girls. Welcome back to another episode of Kids Who Read Well Phonogram Workbook. Today we're going to work in our phonogram workbook and we are looking for the two letters that make the phonogram sound ch, k, sh. Let's see if we can find it in our books. If you open your book almost to the middle of the book and we turn a few pages, you should find it. I found it. It's right before the sound owl o. Let's get started. I will share my page with you on the screen. Here we are. I hope you found it so far in your workbooks. Oh, I see the hand there is holding up the number three. Can you hold up the number three and say the sounds with me? Ch k sh Let's do that one more time. Ch k sh Very good. So most of us know the sound ch, ch, ch this phonogram makes, but sometimes we'll hear it say and then sometimes we may hear shh. It's not very often that the C and the H will make the shh sound, but we wanna be prepared when we see words that have a C and a H, and we can try all three of those sounds when we're sounding out that word. Let's say those sounds one more time. Ch, k, shh. Very good. If we say them a little faster, I think it sounds like a train. It does, it sounds like a train. So that's one way that I remember it. When I see those two letters walking together, I know they make the three sounds that kind of sound like a train. All right, well, let's grab our pencils and let's start practicing how to write these wonderful letters together. And I think I'm gonna choose a pink pencil today. You are free to write with whatever you choose. A pencil is the first choice. If you don't have a pencil, that's okay. Grab a marker, grab a crayon, a colored pencil, whatever you can find so that we can write our letters together. We'll start with uppercase C. There are so many words in the English language, especially people's names and holidays that start with a C. And so we wanna practice that C in its capital letter, or you can call it its uppercase letter. So we'll practice two uppercase letters here by tracing and two lowercase, and then we'll practice in the free space. Let's get started. Put your pencil on the black dot of the first C. And we'll start on that black dot and we'll simply curve around, making it nice and long and tall and curved. Very good. We'll try that one more time. Start on that black dot on the second C, curve it around nice and tall and give it a good curve there at the end. For small C or lowercase C, we'll do the same motion. We're just going to make it a little shorter. And that matters about where we write the letter when we write on the lines. And we'll practice that in a second. So we'll put our pencil there on the black dot, curve for small c all the way around. And we'll try one more time at the bottom, curve around for small c at the bottom. Very good. Let's practice that in the free space before we move on. Uppercase c. Uppercase C is a very tall letter. So we're gonna start that tall letter there at the top line. We're gonna pass through the midline and curve when we get to the base line. Let's try that now. I'm gonna put my pencil just under the top line so that my C can curve up and around to the top line, pass through the midline, and then come and curve down on the base line for a really good rounded C. Let's try that one more time on the next line underneath. So we'll start just under the top line, curve around and up, down through the midline, come to the base line and curve around for a nice curved C. We'll try the same for lowercase C. Lowercase C is a shorter letter. So we're gonna start just under the midline. 
put your pencil just under the midline so that we can curve up towards the midline, down to the baseline and curve around just like we did for uppercase C. Let's try that again. Coming just under the midline, curve up towards the midline and down to the baseline and curve around for the letter C. All right, let's give the H a go. Put your pencil on the very first lowercase h, and we're gonna start on the black dot, tracing all the way down. Do not pick your pencil back up. Leave your pencil there, and we're gonna trace that line halfway up and curve around for a beautiful letter H. Let's try that again on the second row. Putting my pencil on the black dot, tracing all the way down. Do not pick that pencil back up. Leave it on the paper. Trace back up only halfway so that we can curve around for the hump on the H. And then we've got two more times to practice with the dotted lines. Let's go for it. Up and around, down. Do not pick your pencil back up, up and around. Beautiful work. Now let's try it on our own there in the free space right next to the C's that we drew. So I'm gonna put my pencil there right on the top line. I'm gonna trace all the way down to the baseline, trace it back up to the midline and curve there at the midline. And that midline is a really good guide for us as we're drawing uppercase, lowercase and letters that may do a hump at the midline. All right, we'll try again in the next free space, tracing all the way down, tracing back up to the midline and curving around. Again, starting at the top line, tracing all the way down to the baseline, coming back up to the midline and going across for a hump. One last time, tracing down, tracing halfway and humping around. Very good. Boys and girls, you can always come back to this workbook and practice some more with your letter formation. All right, let's see. The bottom half of our workbook page says, these words make the sound of ch, -ch, -ch. There's our train. Can you think of other words that have the same sounds and draw a picture below? Well, let's see what we have so far. Oh, wow, well, I see a little girl there, but g, -g, -g girl. That sounds like the letter G. I don't see the letter G there in that word, but I do see ch, k, sh. So let's try the first one. Ch, 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 ch. Child, child. Oh, it's not a girl that they've called. It's a child. Ha, we got it. Well, here's our next picture. Well, I see a tree. And of course it's for Christmas. So there's that second sound, k -k 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 -k. Christmas, Christmas, very good. In our last picture, hmm, there's a guy there and he's cooking. He's got knives and food going everywhere. Well, he's a cook. And I see there's a letter C there too. So k -k -k cook, no, because I see a C and an H walking together. And I remember three sounds say ch, k, sh. Let's try all three of them to see if we find one that works. Let's start with ch, okay? Ch, F, chef, chef. Mm, I've never heard of a chef. Mm, let's move on. Let's try the second sound. K, k, k. F, kef, a kef. Hmm. I don't know a kef either. Well, we've got one more sound to try. Shh. Let's see. Chef, chef, a chef. Of course, a chef is always cooking. Clearly, that's what this word is. It's a chef, and it makes the third sound for ch -k -sh. chef. We did it, that was really good. Mm, I think we can look at some more words that have the phonogram sound. Ch -k -sh. Let's give it a try. Ah, here on the screen, I see so many words that make the ch sound at the beginning and the ch sound at the end of the word. And then here we have the k 
sound at the beginning and the k sound at the end of the word. Let's see if we can sound out some of these words. I see cherries, cherries. What about this one? Lunch, lunch, or t each, teach. What about ch air, chair, or w itch, which? Wow, okay, let's see if we can read some of them with the second sound of k, 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 k. That's a big word. Chemical, chemical. Ooh, be careful if you're ever touching any chemicals because they can really harm you. Hmm, character or stomach. Wow, all of those words have the sound of ch and k. Mm, let's see if we can find some that make the sh sound. Here we are. Now, these are some really big words that make the sound of sh in ch. Let's give them a whirl. Mm, brochure, brochure. I've heard of a brochure before. It's like a booklet that tells you more about a company or a program. Mm. Machine, a machine, of course. A computer is a machine. A cell phone is a machine. Or sometimes machines are really big and heavy duty like a tractor or a copier machine. And there's our other word again, chef. What about a chauffeur? Have you ever heard of a chauffeur? When I get all nice and fancy and really rich, I'm gonna hire a chauffeur to drive me around in my limousine every day. Chauffeur, it's like a driver that you can hire to drive you around places if you didn't want to drive yourself. And let's look at one more. What about a parachute? A parachute. It's, it's one of those really big balloon things that people use when they jump out of a plane. You can't just jump out of a plane. You'll just fall and hit the ground and probably get really hurt or even die. So a parachute it kind of helps you glide in the air nice and slowly so that you reach the ground much slowly and you won't get hurt. Yeah, parachute. If I ever jump out of a plane, I'm gonna make sure that I have a parachute. All right, let's go back to our workbook page here. If there's any word that you saw today that you would like to draw on the page, feel free. I think that I'm going to draw uh, I want to draw this. Let's try it. I'm going to draw a sandwich because this is going to be my lunch. And let's see, I'm going to put like some, there's my sandwich hanging out of the, it's my lettuce and tomatoes hanging out of the bread. Let's see if I can give the bread a little bit of crust there. And maybe I've got a juice box here. Boom, yes, there's my juice box. <gasps> Maybe an apple for my lunch. Yeah, uh -huh. there we are, there's my apple. All right, good job. So this is my lunch. <gasps> Perfect, I did it. Hmm, <gasps> I can think of another word that we didn't talk about yet. And you can draw this on your page too. Let's see, I'm gonna draw the picture first and see if you can help me guess. All right, there he is. I'm gonna draw some eyebrows. There are his eyes. He's definitely gonna be the nose for this picture. So I'll draw him a nose. And then I'm gonna draw him a mouth. And then I'm going to change my color because he's going to get something right here. There he is. Ah, there is hair right under his nose on top of his lip. What is that hair called? A mustache. <laughs> A mustache. M. -m -a -s Uh, and then that sh is the C-H 
walking together. Mustache. Perfect. We did it. We chose two words that make the sound of ch, k, sh, lunch, and mustache. If you find any more words that make those one of those three sounds, feel free to come back to your workbook and draw it in so it can keep your mind always thinking about the sounds that C and H make when they go walking together. Let's review those sounds one more time before I let you go. Holding up our number three, ready? Ch, k, sh. Let's make it a little faster for a quick train ride before we go. Very good, boys and girls. Well, thank you for joining me today for another episode of Kids Who Read Well using our phonogram workbook. Remember, if you don't have your workbook, just ask your parents to click below to grab your own copy from Amazon. I'll see you next time, boys and girls. Thank you so much for joining me today.